Hi everyone, happy Friday. This is Muriel Miss Cooper Scoop. I am here tonight to share with you a haul. I do have some other packages, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. I just wanna show you the haul because I need to put the things away and then I'll have room for the packages that um, I received today. I got some happy mail and I got my um, Simple Stories warehouse box. Me and my sister ordered them, so we're dying to pop in and look inside and see what's, what we got. But anyway, I ran over to Hobby Lobby uh, earlier this week and I know they had Christmas things that were 60% off, so I wanted to go ahead and get stocked up on things for next year for packaging. So I took advantage of it. Um, I even got a few of the 90% off for uh, the fall, just a few things. So I'm gonna move this out the way. I'll show you the fall things I got really quick. And I'll show you one because I got three of them. Just these corn, I don't know what they call them. They're just like wreaths. They're gonna go on the door. I love the light color. I didn't want any, um, I have some green ones. I had some green ones up for fall, put those down. And now I just have some uh, green wreaths on the doors. I have one, two, three, four doors inside, whatever. So I got three of these. These were, no, these were normally $20. I can't believe it. I would have never paid $20 for this. So um, I got three of them. I'm just gonna go ahead and put those away for next year. But this year, oh my God. This was like by itself in an aisle, in the Christmas aisle, and I just thought it was just adorable and very inspiring, right? I'm looking at this going, I could make this because I have a, a dye that creates um, pine uh, leaves or whatever and shaped like a Christmas tree. And then this is just a spool and yarn and then a star. So I'm just gonna sit it here um, and get lots of inspiration from it. So. Christmas-wise, I picked up, and this is all 60% off, these adorable Christmas tree um, tissue papers. They're called Christmas party hankies, but um, I keep these in my drawer and throw them in my purse um, so often. Um, I found these, not sure what they were. They are called winter hat table scatters and they are winter hats right they're red ones blue ones and green ones and they look like and they're hard so i'm not sure how they are used they i don't know if they'll be used for table scatter i think i'll probably alter them maybe but they're really really cute and they were 10.99 so we'll figure 60 percent off that then i got my tapes. I love tapes like this. I just mailed out 14 um, Happy Mail packages and they all have some holiday tape. These all say Merry Christmas. They were $2.99, 60% off. You can't beat it. So I got these in red and then I picked up. These are just snowflakes. Shipping tape is what it's called. So I got four of those. They had a few left. I didn't want to take them all. I caught one woman looking at me wondering, like, what is she doing? But, you know, I just love putting this on the craft paper when I mail stuff. Um, then I got a few of these um, buttons. These are the tree and truck. And then these are just cookie cutters, just tiny size. And then I got these ornament buttons. And then gingerbread. And I'm going to just kind of leave those out. I may be using those, but the other day I pulled out some charms that I had purchased from Michael, so I still have three more slots, and I'll probably squeeze those in here so that everything is together and I'm not, like, going all over my craft room looking for one thing. Um, I got some straws. You know we decorated in my office, and I took a lot of my holiday straws to work to uh, create the design that we did in the office, um, which I love to do. I love using stuff and getting rid of it, moving it out. And then I just picked up these really cute red polka dot and stripes. And then um, I picked up three of these, again, 60% off $1.99. I got these because I have some wooden ornaments that I uh, use a few of them this year on some packaging, but I have some other ones. And I thought about just using these to go around the top of the house. So they look like um, 
lights hanging. They're Christmas light gemstones. So I just got three of those. And then here are some fall bags that I got, gift bags. Um, they're 12 in a pack. Very, very nice, very sturdy. They'd be great for the fall if I make my pretzels, dill pretzels that I do. Just kind of fold it over, um, put a nice little uh, fall leaf or some design across the bag. So I got two of these, $2.99. Um, I picked up some of these treat bags. These are gingerbread, like gingerbread houses. I thought they'd be cute for Happy Mail as well as treats. There are eight boxes in here, which is so nice. And it's a small size box, but it's still adorable. Okay, so two of those is $4.99, so $5. You take 60% off. Then more treat boxes. I got this one here. This is four in a box. Just like that. A lid, so that's the actual size of the box there, and then this will go on top and slide out. You can see the cookies. This is what I will like screaming about, and like I said, I did leave some, but these are the seal self sealing padded envelopes, and they're three in a pack for $2.99. They're already ready for you to address them. So cute! So I got four of them, and this was a um the Hobby Lobby near my job. I'm dying to know what the one near my house has. So four of these, so happy about this. And then here are two more treat bags for the fall that I got, right? So I can use some for pretzels and I can use also some for Happy Mail. And then um, more gift sacks. These here, just be merry, be merry in green and red. There's 12 in this pack. And then they had the buffalo check, 12 in this pack. And then this one almost matches the, the treat box, gift sacks. There are 12 in here. And then there's 12 in here. Again, $3 with 60% off. So I think it was like $1.20. Can't beat it under $5. And I got 48 gift bags. Gift sacks. Okay. Then I got tissue paper. This is a real cute tissue paper, 10 counts. They were $1.99. So I picked up three of those. I picked up some candy wrappers. These are for little candies. You can kind of see them right there. They have a beautiful design on them, like a snow, uh, like a, a snowflake. And there are a hundred of them in here. So um, I probably won't wrap up candy, but if I do, it's perfect. And if I don't, it could be used for something else. And then I got this cookie bag. Very, very pretty with the snowflakes on them. There are 50 in here. These were $3.99. And they have a seal on the top. So, I mean, you can use them for treats. You can use them for Happy Mail. My, my guess would be they would use more for Happy Mail than treats. And then I have the cookie plate bag. So these are quite large. There are four of them in here. And I did pick up two of those. Again, more for Happy Mail than for treats. And then lastly, some tissue paper. Christmas party tissue paper. Um, I have lots of white. I have run out of the color patterns that I have because of the Happy Mail that I just sent out. Like I said, 14 boxes. Three of which was family. The rest are you guys. So I hope you're excited and I hope you're happy when you receive them. Like I said, I mailed one yesterday and she texted me now and said she just got it. She hasn't opened it up yet, but that she has it. And then someone else got my Christmas card and I just mailed it out. So I'm just really happy with the postal service right now because they are moving things through and I can certainly appreciate that. So, you guys, that is my Hobby Lobby haul. I have my Sizzix, Sizzix, no, my Simple Stories box. First, I'm going to go ahead and do some picking up of this room um, and get it all straight so when I come in in the morning, I can work with a clear slate. I'm going to be making some more of those tags that I made with the scratch-off tickets. So, um, I'm going to be up for a while. I kind of want to make sure those have to be done this weekend because I have to share them with some friends at work 
and then I'm just going to piddle around and do some other things. So I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for your comments. Everyone was so um, uh, likable of the snowflakes that I made for my um, work. Um, I found it on Instagram, I think, where the woman made snowflakes out of paper sacks. Like the paper sacks that I just showed you. Like a little bit shorter than this, but regular paper sacks. You use eight of them. You glue them together. You cut um, the these ends off, and then you do a triangle here and a triangle there and cut it out. And they just make these beautiful snowflakes, and they're all on the windows at work. And I still have, I think, seven more to make, and that'll be the entire floor. Yeah, really looks so cool for Christmas. So everyone's happy. I'm happy, too. So until my next video, you guys take care, and we'll talk to you then. Bye.